My name is Ed Winbigler, W-I-N-D-B-I-G-L-E-R, Police Chief, Elkhart Police Department. Uh, obviously, you all know why you're here on the shooting that we had the other morning, Sunday morning at approximately 4 a.m. Uh, what we're going to do today is release the officers' names that were involved in that. One of them was a Leonard Delshenko, and Chris will send you the correct spelling on both of these. Uh, he is a seven-year veteran of the Elkhart Police Department. The second officer was a Sergeant Nathan Lanson. He's an eight-year veteran of the Elkhart Police Department. They are both currently on administrative leave, waiting for their details. And that's about all I'm going to say on this part of it, because I have nothing new to release until Indiana State finishes their investigation. I believe the mayor is going to come up and speak to you on his portion. That's all good. Thank you and good morning. I want to acknowledge the quick reaction time of Elkhart Chief of Police Ed Winbegler on behalf of addressing this issue in addition to responding to uh, this event. More information will be forthcoming. I'm grateful for the assistance of the Indiana State Police, the Goshen Police Department, as well as the Elkhart County Sheriff's Department. The Indiana State Police will be conducting a very thorough and complete investigation. And I ask for your indulgence with regard to the result of that investigation. I further ask anyone that would have information concerning what occurred on Sunday, December 4th, to come forward and contact the Elkhart Police Department to help them do their jobs. Thank you. Why are you being so, uh, the, the criticism has been, talks have, have been not transparent, and there's no transparency here at all. Well, part of this is the investigation is being conducted by the state police, and when we put out information, we want it to be accurate. We don't want to put out information that's not true, that's not accurate, and that leads to speculation on what may or may not have happened. At this point, we don't know what happened. That's being investigated by the state police. Um, they were out there at the scene. They spoke with some witnesses. They collected evidence. Now it's a point of utilizing those two resources that they have to put together and to paint the picture of what happened, what led up to the incident, and then what transpired after that. We don't want to put out that false information and then have people jump to conclusions on what happened. We'd rather wait so that we can put out the facts and say this is exactly what happened, and we're counting on our state police to be able to do that, and I'm sure they'll do it in as timely a fashion as what they can. Do these officers have any prior record of being involved in police-involved shootings? Not to my knowledge. What yeah. about commendations or disciplinary actions against them? I, I don't have uh, what all their commendations would be or what their discipline would be. Um, that's something that we would not release at this time. Um, you know, they're both very good officers. Uh, they've both been with the department for approximately eight years, um, and they do a good job for us on the midnight shift. The autopsy report was really short yesterday. Do we know where the bullet came from? No, we don't. Um, again, you know, that's, that's part of the process. You know, there, there's evidence out there. There was a lot of evidence that was collected. Uh, state police are going to have to cipher through all that evidence and determine um, what all happened. You know, they will be able to use the statements they got. They'll be able to use the evidence that they've collected. And they'll be able to paint a picture and a timeline of exactly what happened and who did what. Speaking of the timeline, how far along do you think uh, it'll take until we get all that information? There is no timeline. Um, you know, we don't want to rush the state police and have them do a poor investigation. We want them to be able to take their time. Uh, we want them to be able to do a thorough investigation. We want them to be able to speak with people that might come forward at a later time. So, you know, we're, we're not pressuring them. Um, you know, we, we want them to do a thorough investigation. We think that thorough is better than fast. And what was happening at the, what was happening at that house? What was going on that evening at that house? We don't know what was going on at that house. That's part of what will come out during the investigation. Uh, state police will interview anybody who is there. They'll ask them what was going on. And again, that's part of the big picture. Um, not only do we look at what specifically happened, but we like to look at what led up to that. You know, what happened at that house earlier that led to the shots being fired, which then led to our police officers responding to those shots fired, and what led to them having to take the actions that they took. That'll all, you know, be investigated by the state police. And as more details are available, uh, we'll try to get them out to you. On the record this morning, Mayor Neese said that it was believed this car was driving at police. Do you have any updates as to whether that information is true? Um, we obviously know that there was a car that was involved, and we obviously know that that car uh, went down an alley and that car wrecked. 
um, and that's about all we know with that vehicle right now. Um, you know, we don't know exactly the positions of the officers. That's something that, again, as the state police start to piece everything together, as state police are able to get uh, statements from different witnesses, uh, from the police officers who were there, uh, they'll be able to map all of that out and be able to show a better picture of uh, where everybody was at and where all the evidence and everything was collected. So were there groups of people shooting at each other at the house? Well, we, we don't know who was shooting at who. Uh, other than the fact that we know that our officers responded to shots fired. Um, again, you know, um, they heard the shots, they ran towards the shots. Um, we know that there were people that were leaving, um, you know, and that's something that as police are able to interview, they determine who all was at the residence, they'll be able to speak with them, and hopefully be able to get a little bit more information on uh, what led up to the incident. This morning, Mayor Neves also said on the record he had every reason to believe that the police officers were wearing body cameras and that they were working properly. Do we have any update on whether or not that is true? Uh, we're not even looking at the body camera um, as the Elkhart Police Department right now. That's something that'll be uh, first looked at by the state police. But were they wearing um, body cameras? If they had body cameras on and if they were functioning, that'll be looked at by the state police. Um, at this time, I have no information on who has been assigned or who hasn't been assigned body cameras. Um, so that's something that will come out during the course of the investigation. Will state police be able to answer those questions? Because at this point, they've been directing us to Elkhart. Right. Uh, we're dealing with all the media for this. Um, if and when those become available, then that's something that we will consider releasing. Obviously, we uh, put out our policy a while ago, and we're going to stick with that policy. We want to make sure that everything is handled internally, and we want to make sure that all of the court proceedings are handled properly uh, before we get into releasing a bunch of video um, that may or may not be there. Uh, right now, everything is, is still being looked at and still being analyzed by the state police as evidence, um, and so we have to wait for their investigation to conclude before we can move forward with ours. Do we have any idea how many guns were found at the scene? No. Um, I don't know how many guns were collected. I don't know how many shell casings. Uh, we're not going to get into the specific of, of evidence. Again, you know, that's something that as the state police do their report, hopefully they'll be able to uh, get some of that information and uh, put it in their report that'll go to the prosecutor's office. Can you give us a little background on the officers involved? Um, you know, they're both seven-year veteran, or well, one's an eight-year, one's almost eight years, just a few days, uh, few days short of that. Um, they're both assigned to the midnight shift. Um, I know both of them personally, and they're, they're good friends of mine. Uh, right now, they both seem to be doing pretty good after dealing what they had to deal with. Um, you know, our, our thoughts are certainly with them right now, and we want to make sure that they're doing okay and that they're processing everything all right. Do we know if Norman Geary was the passenger or the driver in the vehicle? We're not releasing anything as far as where evidence was collected or where any of the victims were at the time when the shooting occurred. Again, uh, we know that with a vehicle that there was some mobility, and we want to be able to make sure that we know who got in the cars and where they got in the cars and where they got out before we release any of that. Do any of the victims that you know of have any weapons on them at this point? We're not releasing any specifics as far as what evidence was collected and how much and, and where it was collected from at this time. How about arrests? For the original call of the, the, the complaint of shots fired, were there any arrests made? No arrests have been made for the original incident um, as far as what, who shot, fired what shots. Again, all of that evidence and all that statements are, are going to be taken by the state police, and it'll be reviewed, and it'll be kind of like a, a total package that'll go to the prosecutor's office for them to review uh, once we're able to determine who did what and what led up to different things. Is there any correlation, do you think, between the burglary that's down the street and the shooting? Yeah. To my knowledge, at this time, there's nothing that connects anything to deal with the burglary with the, uh, the sounds of gunfire and the shooting incident that happened. The other people were shot, are they still in the hospital? Uh, I'm not aware of their condition right now. Um, I know as of uh, early Monday morning, they were still all being treated at different hospitals. Thank you guys very much for coming. We'll hopefully uh, be able to get you more information as it's available to us. Thank, Thank you. you. I will send out a press release uh, with uh, photos as well as proper spelling for the officers that were involved. And again, the ISP is handling the investigation uh, Elkhart Police, are they assisting or just kind of? We've assisted with anything that they've asked us to assist with, but, they're um, the but they are the lead investigators in this. Is that the Bremen Post or would State Police? I mean, the Bremen Post? State Police, yeah. And Thank is you. Is there any indication that this is a, if you're in, in, investigating with a race might be involved in this, or the, the officer and the victims? I mean, it's been, a, it's been on the national news, so, so you can't be surprised by that question. Why would you think that race would be involved in this? 
Well, because we have a number of uh, national stories about uh, uh, we have nothing to indicate that any type of race issue 